It's me, Kanoe, uh, and welcome back to the channel where I got shipped something. It's Buffa time! It's Buffa time! Buffa time! Uh, yeah, so I ordered this on the P Ban US website. I've never ordered anything from the P Ban US website. I don't have anything more coming from it, unfortunately, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm glad it did ship, so why don't we take a look at it, shall we? So this, it comes in like a separate box, so you don't have to worry about shipping labels on the shipper box, but out of the box it comes in the basic uh, SHV Guards shipper box, front label, got that thing there, ba ba da ba, Tamashi Nations, whatever, Tamashi Love Shite, uh, SHV Guards, coming out of Buffa, a zombie form, because this is just base Buffa. Uh, but yeah, it's your average shipper box, but what really matters is what's inside the shipper box. Is what's inside the shipper And what matters is what's inside the shipper box. It's Conor Uh This is a this is the typical P Ban style figure arts packaging for at least Common Rider, where there's no window. It's got a full body image of Common Rider Buffa right there. Uh, just well, half body image, I should say. It's got his logo in the corner. Uh, SH figure arts Common Rider Buffa zombie form. There he is on the side. Common Rider Buffa zombie form. That image continues. The other side, it's Kamara Bufa. Kamara Bufa zombie form. He's just standing there menacingly. DGP at the top. Uh, Kamara Bufa zombie form. Everything's got that nice gray and purple, because he's purple. Uh, bottom has uh, Bamco labeling over the usual labeling, which I think shows Geats in the zombie armor. And the back shows everything that comes within the figure, as well as showing off, alongside showing off that you can uh, put... Uh, geats into the zombie armor because that's how the gimmick works. You just put people in the other's armor uh, using the raise buckles. We've got the main image of him here. You can also put Bufa onto entry form. As you know, I've got both of those, so if I do review it, I'll show those forms off. You've got him standing around. He's got his chainsaw, simple style heroic action. All of it's in Japanese because this is intended for a Japanese audience, but hey, we got our hands on it, luckily. So let's Get Buffa open, why don't we? Uh, oh, come on, there we go. And, there we are. And, flippy dip. Yep, he is big. He's big. He's got an extra faceplate, I think that's for Geet. This is for Geet's. This is for Buffa uh, entry raise form. It's got a bunch of extra accessories for other forms. So let's get him out, shall we? So first off, he comes with his iconic zombie weapon. This is the uh, chainsaw. Uh, wow, chainsaw man! Ha ha ha! Um, yeah, this goes up and oh, that's that's smooth. The little thing goes up and down nice and smoothly, and the chainsaw feels pretty good. Uh, it's not as sharp as Chainsaw Man's. Uh, if you want to see that, uh, I think it drew blood when I opened it. Uh, so check out that unboxing if you are interested in a figure that drew blood on me. Uh, yeah. Comes with a bunch of hand... Well, not too many hands, actually. He's got... Well, it's because he only has one posable hand, really. Or one normal hand. Let me get those hands out. Uh, so he's got a decent variety of hands. He's just got one hand. Uh, so, alongside having, like, a basic splayed-out hand, he has the trigger finger hand, which I assume could be used for, like, uh... This could probably be used for, like, uh, like, Magnum, but I assume it might also be used for this. He's also got a basic fist hand. He's got a, like, whoa, thrown out like a Bakugan hand. That's what we'll call this hand, like a splayed out action hand. And he's got this kind of basic relaxed hand, which could be used for gripping onto here and being like, vroom, vroom. But I think that's mainly for the other hand. He's also got... This faceplate piece, this is for Geats to use uh, with the zombie mode. Uh, he's got, as well as a lower jowl piece, for Geats to use zombie form. Because Bufa looks different, and then it also comes with a faceplate and lower jaw for uh, Bufa to use entry raise form. Uh, I do wish they were slightly more swappable, but it's fine. Uh, however, the main event here... 
is to get Bufa out of there. Uh, he's covered in fucking plastic. Is it because, is it purely because of his waist cape? I don't know. Uh, jeez, yeah, he's just, it's because of his waist cape and his hair. They don't want that. Jesus Christ, so much plastic. This is the most plastic I've seen on a goddamn, f not even like fucking, uh, uh, Gio, uh, Oma form had this much. Not even, like, any of the Saber guys had this much. Jesus Christ. <sighs> they really don't want his paint to bleed, huh? I mean, I guess that's for the better. Uh, come on. There we go. I think that's all of it? That's all of it. Uh, yeah, that's all of it. But yeah, he, he looks good. I mean, he, he's a very bulky suit. Uh, his raised buckle is perfectly painted. That is wonderful. I think his... Uh, ID core is slightly lopsided, at least on mine. You can't really see that, but, uh, it looks slightly lopsided. Oh, jeez, one of his belt buckles fell off. Let me get that back on real quick. Uh, it looks like the belt buckles, I'm pretty sure, can hold the, uh, raised buckles if you've got spares. I don't know how you'd have spares, but you might have spares. Uh, okay, so this arm doesn't move in super well. Neither of the arms seem to move in super well, but that's just because they're super bulky. So, yeah, it's to be expected. Uh, f as far as I can tell, the legs are super similar, if not the same as Geet's, uh, like, entry rays. Which, those are good legs. Uh, they're nice and poseable. Uh, they work out. Uh, his hair doesn't seem to have any posability. Let's look at his back. Uh, yeah, he's got his waist cape. He's got his hair. Oh, Jesus, fuck, that part keeps falling off. That's gonna be frustrating. Uh, how's it look on there? That's gonna be a bit frustrating to deal with, but hey, what if we are? What are we if not people who deal with things? Uh, as actual figure collector, his hair seems to be split into three parts. That's pretty good for posing, and it's since it's rubbery, it seems to get decently out of the way. All the metallics are super nice on this thing. I, I imagine it rubs off a little bit, but yeah, and his shoulder armor does get out of the way really nicely. But yeah, Buffa is just a very different differently sized, like, figure from what I'm used to. Do the... I don't think the fingers move, which is fine. I do kind of wish they did a little bit, but they don't move much in the show from what I can tell, so... Yeah, this will work out. This works out. Yeah, I, I do think I like him. Uh... Where are we at? Uh, but yeah, I think... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. But yeah, he, he's just nice and very bulky, and... Yeah, I don't have any of my, uh... Jeez... Yeah, I don't have, um, my figure arts, I should, probably should have added them out here, but I don't have my figure arts geetses out right now. Uh, they are in another room, uh, but those are good figures too, so if you want to get uh, a geets collection, I do kind of recommend this guy. He's probably pretty important as one of, like, the main four-ish characters. Uh, but yeah, I think this figure is enjoyable, uh, so pick him up if you have a chance to. Uh, but yeah. I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff uh, for more of this kind of content. Especially comment if you do want to see a review of this figure, and I'll try to get some form of that out if you guys are interested. Uh, just let me know in the comments section below. Let me know if you think I should get more P-Bandai products. This is my first one and currently only one, uh, so we'll see. If you want me to pre-order more P-Bandai stuff. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, so I'm, and I am glad that P-Bandai is finally making Kamen Rider figure arts accessible in America and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I just hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, bye bye